Hello, hello, it's Thumbfoot here. Here's an item on trigonometry. Evaluate 1 plus tangent 18 degrees times 1 plus tangent 27 degrees. Now, credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for the inspiration on this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Alright, so I've put in here in bold, big text, observation. And typically in a question on evaluation, or particularly evaluating um, trigonometric functions, uh, we really have to observe because as you can see in this case, we're given with tangent of 18 degrees and tangent of 27 degrees. Now, these two angles are not really familiar angles. Those are, uh, these two angles are not really the special angles. It's not even 15 or 75, but there is something to them that we can kind of use, but that's going to be the inspiration here because if you're going to ask me what are the values of tangent 18 degrees and tangent 27 degrees, I don't know. The only thing that I can do is kind of type it in the calculator and give you like an approximated value. But to give you the exact value of both, that's practically impossible for me to do. So given that this item came from the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad, there might be a nice trick here. And a nice trick always starts with a very nice observation. Now, the observation here to make is that 18 and 27, if we add them, that's going to be 45 degrees. And 45 is indeed a special angle. So the tangent of 45, at least it's a better value than probably tangent 18 and tangent 27, uh, 27 degrees over here. And apparently we're adding them. So I think we're motivated to do the following. So we're going to use the tangent addition formula. So the tangent of 18 degrees plus 27 degrees. So we can expand that using the tangent addition formula, tangent A plus tangent B divided by 1 minus tangent A tangent B. And um, since 18 plus 27, based from our observation a while ago, that's just going to be 45 degrees. So the tangent 45 degrees, that's just 1. And then let's multiply both sides by 1. And we're going to get uh, 1 plus tangent 18, sorry, 1 minus tangent 18 degrees, tangent 27 degrees. It's going to be equal to tangent 18 degrees plus tangent 27 degrees. Now, I written here um, the given problem. So you can kind of see there is a similarity between the two, well, aside from the fact that it contains 18 and 27 degrees. And it's the fact that if I expand this, it might look something similar to this one, because if I expand this out, there's going to be the tangent 18 term, the tangent 27 term, and then I would take the product of these two. So that's very promising. So I am going to expand this part. So this is the red expression. From the previous slide. So if I expand this, I'll get the following value. 1 plus tangent 18 degrees plus tangent 27 degrees plus tangent 18 degrees 27 degrees. Again, that's just simple algebra. So just kind of expand it out. And all right, we have a nice observation here. Uh, based from the equation that we got from the tangent addition, tangent 18 degrees plus tangent 27 degrees that's apparently the same as 1 minus tangent 18 degrees, tangent 27 degrees. And this is a very nice thing because we have 1 plus over here, and then we have the plus tangent 18 degrees, uh, tangent 18 degrees, oops, sorry, tangent 27 degrees. That should be tangent 27 degrees. So since we have uh, this one, we can kind of see some nice cancellations here. So the, the minus tangent 18 degrees, tangent 27 degrees, it's going to cancel nicely. So apparently this question is just a very simple 1 plus 1. And there we go. The answer is simply equal to 2. So 1 plus tangent 18 degrees times 1 plus tangent 27, uh, sorry, 1 plus tangent 27 degrees, that's going to be simply equal to 2. And that's the product of a very nice observation. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.